the pomar uh, is really uh, strong for a Bourgogne wine. Uh, strong means that the quantity of tannins and the complexity of the tannins creates lots of aromas. For me, the tannins uh, in pomar, the tannins brings uh, the ability to keep a wine, the balance also, as we have a good balance, acidity, fruits, aromas and tannins and that, uh, that sum of parameters creates the complexity of the wine. And in a pomar, the complexity is really one of the best things we appreciate on our wines. We have improved the, the, the date of harvest in order to obtain a better um, vinification in our vats. Uh, there is really a huge progress in, uh, in the Pomar wines in the last 20 years. If I compare the, the Pomar now and 20 years ago, for me we have faced a huge increase in the quality of the vinification. Most of the producers uh, really have in mind that the quality of the tannins, the date of harvest, is the more important. The quality of the job in the vines is the more important to produce a really good and complex wine uh, of Bourgogne. For me, the, the, the Pomar wines can be described with the three uh, periods of the wine. The first aromas, uh, I mean uh, from two to seven years, we are on young wines and the more important characteristic of the wines are the blueberry, blackberry aromas and for most of the premier cru, the cherry, cherry stone aromas. The fruit, the fruit is the first and very kind complex, very dense, dark and deep. The second life of the wine, or the second aromas, as we say, uh, are more oriented on the plumb aromas and the beginning of the musk aromas, musky aromas. We also have some leather and uh, old rose aromas, uh, which are very delicate and counterbalance the opinion most of the uh, tasters have that pomar is very strong and rustic. The third aromas uh, after 10, maybe 15 years uh, are the aromas of the old wines, more concentrated on the musk and forest aromas. That's the walk in the forest during autumn and pomar, the mushrooms also is very present in our pomar wines, uh, which, which makes the pairing uh, with food very good with venison, for example, on an old pomar. If you would like to drink a pomar quite young, my advice is to use a decanter, which is the best way to breathe the wine, to open it, as the tannins need to be softened a little bit. The optimum uh, tasting period or climax of the wine is generally speaking after four or five years. For some of the producers which extract a little bit more tannins, you may wait six or seven years. But anyway, you have the possibility to use a decanter, which is a quite a good, uh, a good system. My two favorites, uh, Clima and Pomar, are the, for the first one, Les Argilières. Les Argilières is an area just placed between Les Grands Epneaux and Pomar Premier Cru, Les Charmeaux, on the north slope of the appellation, of the area. Uh, on an area uh, full of limestone, we have big blocks of mother rocks, just recovered with 20 to 30 centimeters of clay mixed with uh, organic materials. And the vines are able to grow up in this area, but produce uh, something very fine and elegant. And for me, it's completely against the old idea we used to have on the strong tannins of pomar. Les argilières, les epneaux, les charmeaux, for example, are able to produce a very balanced and complex wine, more in, complex, in complete opposition of the, the normal thinking of the people. Uh, this, my second favorite climat is Les Rugiens. Uh, if we finish on that, Les Rugiens is uh, known now as uh, the future Grand Cru. It's a project. 
That's not a reality for the moment. It's a premier cru. Uh, known under the name Lérugien Bas and Lérugien Haut. And in this area, the soil is recovered with some uh, clay mixed with iron nodules. And oxidation of these iron nodules explains the, the red color in the soil. Red uh, is the connection with the word rouge in French, and rouge is connected to les rugiens. That's why we have that impression of red soil on les rugiens. And les rugiens uh, is very, is always, even uh, if the year is not so good, les rugiens is always completely balanced, soft, and very complex. For the wines of Poma, in the last uh, 20 years, we have faced a huge increase in the general quality of the wines and of the producer. All the producers uh, are now aware that the soil is the more important thing, and we have uh, developed a study of soil and undersoil with a geologist in order to uh, describe all the areas, the 28 clima we have in the appellation of Pomar. And we are now sure that uh, every different uh, clima has a personality, a real personality. To be simple, the south area is more strong with lots of clay in the soil, uh, a good ability to be kept in a cellar. The north area of the village is more long, elegant, elegant and complex with the soft tannins. For uh, the customers, you have to keep in mind that the 28 clima are now really 28 different wines. And it's not homogeneous like the, in the old time we use to talk about the Pomar appellation. It's really a pleasure for us as producer in Pomar uh, now to make the vinification on 28 different clima and the complexity of our wines is really uh, good in all the 28 clima. My personal anecdote on uh, these wines, especially on Les Rugiens, uh, is very personal. I've been married in 1986 and for that occasion my father-in-law, my future father-in-law, selected a Pomar Les Rugiens 1977. 1977 is maybe the less explosive vintage we used to add in the, the last 30 years. And this wine, despite the, this, um, I can say, bad vintage, was very complex and I was proud to taste it uh, at that occasion.